Good good man. Gotta get those bevels right. Ah, ah. I'm a sick man. Ah, ah. I go out. Ah. I don't even Here we go. Ah. Oh, man, oh, oh, fuck. Blow it. Ready? Three man's Three man's This time. Third time lucky. Go. Recording in progress. Recording. Recording in progress, duh. <laughs> uh, had some feedback about your background. Um, oh God. What have I done? What have I done wrong there? No, not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Giving you feedback about your background. Uh, just a, a couple of comments from our listeners. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Um, we got bit of, well, a couple of things. Looks like you're recording on a Casio calculator. Uh, first of all, um, oh, yeah, the webcam thing. Uh, yeah, I need a better camera. Yeah, uh, the the lighting, the lighting um, is really sad and poor. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, now the, the the drum set, the bookshelf, and the no effects. Um, uh, so long and thanks for all the shoes uh, album cover. Now that that's a bit of a highlight, Jolan. Um, <laughs> I do have a bit of a fundamental issue with the uh, general lack of um, background at all. Uh, okay. You know, and you know, where's this shot of Blake Town? Where's a boogie board? Where's some lighting? So that's some of the feedback I've received. You know, so um, get better. Just get better at life. Uh, let's not get started on your chimney. I feel uh, like people you've, get pretty uh, upset about your chimney. I feel chimney. like you've, um, you've got some feedback, but you've ad libbed a bit of your own feedback in there too, haven't you, mate? Hey. Eh? Well, you know, I sprinkled it. I sprinkled in just a little bit. Uh, I got some feedback about that drink too, actually, Jolin. Um, what drink are we talking about, friendo? That one that you're just having there. Oh, Masashi. Yeah, yeah, so just a bit of backstory on that. I got, oh. given, I got given a free can today when I when I bought a car wash at Mobile. Wow. And this is the watermelon flavor, and it tastes fucking terrible, FYI. <laughs> Robert Whitaker, what are you doing? Robbie? Oh, B Bobby Nux. Um, just so you know, my computer did try to uh, fuck me in the ass. Um uh, it had about yeah. it had changed about three to four settings um, without me touching anything before we started. So luckily, if I didn't have my checklist, we'd be down shit creek without a paddle. So does it does it set go to some sort of weird default? Does it? Bro, like uh, it had changed my microphone levels, like input levels, to like three mm -hmm. percent. So nobody would have been out. So if I wasn't monitoring all that stuff, like all these lessons learned, I would have been out of anything. Come on, man. That's weird, man. Hey, come on, man. Is there a ghost yeah. in the is there a ghost in the machine, man? You got a little is fucking a ghost, ghost up. Is there an elite Mary in my machine? No, there's an elite Mary sitting on front of the machine, and that's <laughs> you, mate. That's <laughs> you. Fucking <laughs> entitled brownie, ain't ya? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, welcome everybody. We're doing another Fu Man Swoo. I know you missed us. It's been the usual three weeks or so, or four. Or who cares? <laughs> Get the fuck and fuck you. Yeah, yeah fuckers, fuckers. This is a treat for you guys and girls out there. And also, what's such a good treat is Patreon. We've got a whopping, oh. I think we've got a whopping four or five subscribers. Oh, it's a good start. And they are getting some absolute treats behind the paywall you're getting you're getting little wee minute clips from yours truly showing the surf conditions having a wee chat about stupid topics um so yeah thanks for all our patreon subscribers we might as well bloody give them a shout out now so yeah this is your shout out you bastards well and and just on top of that uh we've actually got a, a new uh Fu Man Swu producer uh, that being Mr. Ben McPake, who signed up to the 
top tier of um of our Patreon, Mr. Yeah, he needs extra. He needs extra shout out, doesn't he? Yeah, but I, I want to shout out all of our uh, Patreons as well. Uh, thank you so much, boys. We really, really do appreciate it, and um, we're only going to grow the Patreon game. Me and Joel and I got some. We got some. We got some irons in the foul. We got some irons in the foul. Because I, like I like to call them Patreonics, as you would have noticed. It's my mm-hmm. little wee um, term that I've coined. Uh, what do you think about it? Is it weird? Is it okay? I like it. I like it. Patreonics. Yeah, I like it. My little spin. It's my little spin on things. Yeah, I like her. I really like it. Uh, I like her. I really like it. Yeah. I like her. I like her. Hey, um, I like we got, a few, got, we got a few. We got a few few show notes tonight, eh? It's we do fun. have a few show notes. It's, it's I did have some other chat. feedback though. Let's do it. Let's go. The feed us. Feed feed the backs, mate. Feed uh, the Brooks, backs. Brooksy being one of our patreons. Said he's oh, well, enjoying the surf yeah, updates. Good. But, but <laughs> this, was... is another, this is another one of the feedbacks that you will hijack and give you. <laughs> a... I know exactly what you're going to say is to say it. Go. But he would appreciate yeah. a bit more detail about the upcoming weekend, how the oh, banks yeah, are looking. Yeah, you know, just just a bit more a bit more detail about uh, what's happening. I don't you know, know about that. Oh, let's discuss this on air right now. Um, I think he's a big boy and he can look at the surf forecast, right? And see what's happening in the weekends. He, yeah. he can have a look at what's coming up in the weekends. I mm-hmm. think he's very lucky that he gets a little insight into what's Ooh. happening as far as banks and, Ooh. you know. So oh, I don't know if I really want to be doing weekend forecast what do yeah, you think yeah for, weekend forecast no like I'm, i agree with that the other mm. thing i do want to just um support you with there too joel yes. is um brooksy d- doesn't know how to read a surf forecast <laughs> come on he goes so no he can't oh uh, okay. it's not that hard to do come on no, it, it, for him <laughs> it's it's like fucking rocket surgery mate he's like <laughs> it's, al- <laughs> it's algebra for him you know, like you know that meme where like yes, the yes, numbers yes. all come towards you, yes, yes. right? Oh no! So whenever he clicks on a Blacktown forecast, it's mm. just that it's just those numbers just coming at you like yeah, rocket surgery, like fucking Rain Man. Mm. You know what I mean? And then he'll ring me up. And he's like, is, yeah. is Blacktown offshore in a southwester? Oh, <laughs> what? Real? No, <laughs> you only do that once, surely. I've I've said to him over the years. Look, look, Joel, and uh, look, uh, look, Sam. It's simple geography, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> oh man, one thing I do have. Yeah. A, uh, oh Christ, that would blown out the speakers for the listeners. Sorry, it was hydro, not me. Um, is I'm not very good on the period stuff. Um. And the energy, the wave energy, I'm a bit of a kook on that sort of stuff. I haven't really taught myself. I just look at the size, look at the tides. That'll do, old Joel. That'll do. That'll do. That'll fucking do, That'll mate. That'll fucking. I. Such a... The only time I take, because periods don't seem to matter a fucking New Zealand. But. Sure they do. I don't know. Because we don't really get a lot of big period swells, like compared to like Rara or Australia or something like that. Mm. Um, I only good. take notice of if, say, if it's like above thirteen seconds, and you're like, "Ooh, ooh that's going to be a fucking groomed, nicely groomed, you know, more grunty swell." Okay, anything above thirteen or fourteen just, seconds? Let's just do a period for dummies then. So, say if a swell is ten second period, right? Yeah. That means the waves are closer together. Yeah. And if it's There's a bigger period, trough. and if it's a bigger period, it's spaced out, more groomed. Yeah, spaced out, more groomed can mean, you know, obviously a longer wait in between sets as well. Yes. But a longer period will also mean that it's got more magnetic energy, I'm pretty sure. Like kilowatt like a energy. ground swell. Like a ground yeah. swell. Yeah. So like it's uh, it's moving slower. Right, it has more energy. Has more energy, and it's like sustained kinetic energy. Oh, I think that's how it works. Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> ah, I'm learning. 
morning. <laughs> How was your day today, mate? How was your day today? It was fucked. Oh, <laughs> I was, was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, do you want to talk us through uh, any of the fuckedness? Nah. Nah, fair enough. Nah, not with work, bro. Nah, fair enough. Um, no, not with work. What was I going to say just then about work fucking didness? Um, I had a nice drive to Westport today for work. That would have been lovely. I would have preferred that what I was doing. But... Yeah, it was a little bit torturous in the morning because as soon as I got to Rapa, I um, they were just firing, firing shories like you know oh. how it's like just before you hit the hill. It's yeah. just like I was just like, oh, that one's barreling. Oh, there's a peak. Oh, oh fuck, it's pumping. Cool. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Drive up, fucking Westport. Thirteen mile looked good too. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was a bit tired on the drive home. A bit tired. A bit yeah, Chrono. Yeah, I needed to um tap into this Musashi on the ride home, but it was fucking warm. It was warm as fucking the sun. Um, um went and checked Wave Trap. Wave Trap was pretty shit, pretty small. But the Grommets, oh. shout shout out to the Grommets. I'm not sure if um. Ali listens. I think he might. I think he follows us. So shout out, Ali. I might have already given you a shout out, but shout out once again, Ali and James, the two hard chorus groms in the west on the west coast. So they're, sur- they're surfing in the middle of winter, bro, and they are fucking loving it. How old are these so, groms? How old? Yeah. Yeah, my daughter's age. So they're year 12. Oh. So 16, 17. That's awesome, bro. Let's it's sick. Let's, um yeah, keep it going, lads. Yeah, no, you, get them on this podcast. They're yeah. gonna go. And, I'm gonna force them. I'm gonna strong arm them into the comp next year. Yeah. Um, and we'll just do. I we'll just do a fucking straight final. Be good if we could find two or three more grommets though. Um, mm. maybe what we'll do is we'll advertise it on the poster and then really push it out when we do our advertising on on the socials. And then you never know. You might get some some kids from up north who might want to come down. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Can I just tell you something? Please While do. you were talking then, please do. My computer automatically reduced my microphone input volume down back down to three percent. Oh no, that's not good, is it? And so I had to put it back up, but it's now it's doing it by itself. How oh, fucks well. that? That is fucked. You'll be able to research that after the pod, though, eh? And see, it might be a thing that's an easy fix. It's so cook, bro. <laughs> You've always <laughs> had its issues with the old fucking gadgets, are. Eh? You're all the gear and no idea, pal. <laughs> yeah, mate. Also, um, feedback. Um, feedback from the Joel and Tim show on your very, very um well put together questions and answers for um, the Brendan Newton podcast. So they uh, um yeah, so um Obamo and Jolo were um Absolutely singing your praises and just saying, I just thought that was very lovely of them to reach out and say to you, hey, you're doing a great job on their latest podcast, which is nice. Oh, yes. Yes. Now you've jogged my memory. Okay. Yes. I, uh, when I, that came out last week, didn't it? No. So they brought out the, um, they brought out their, well, they drop one every week, but they brought out their Patreon app Listen and then they that. brought, they brought out one. I think it was today or yesterday, which is yeah, the one where they talk about oh, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Uh, um, where he's saying uh, my uh, elite Mary skills came out or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, yeah. boys. <laughs> now, nah, shout out to the Joel and Tim show. Um, what's quite funny is uh, Joel must have been getting a little bit inspired from my Patreonic um post. So now he's doing some good little wee videos around his. His little proper tan, he's doing, yeah, he's just getting on board. So it's good, actually. You know, it's uh, it's giving them a little kick up the bum to do some Patreon stuff. So, yeah, let's all inspire each other to be better. Eh? It's all inspire. It's um, fine. How, how do you feel after uh, we got a uh, welcome to any new listeners we do have as well? We picked up about what's up 15 new followers. What's um, up? On Insta, after we um, we had Brendo on, um, how do you, how do you feel about that uh, that podcast episode we did with Brendo Joss? Oh, it's great! It was really cool. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, my uh, 
the 12 Apostles chat and my choice of Ross McBride. Oh. It's got a lot of heat. It's got a lot of heat. People are like, what are you talking about, you clown? That was awful. I, I, I kind of regret that. Um, awful. But similarly, Brendo's call about Sean Virtue, I thought that was a bit of a weird call too. But hey, you know, it was, was okay. kind of on the spot. It was okay. It was okay. You know, it was on the spot though, and he was moving yeah. around at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I just, I just my brain went blank, and then all of a sudden I was just like, Ross McBride, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Brendo, too, if you listen to this, brother. Um, yeah, yeah we cool. we did massively appreciate and enjoy um doing the the interview with you. I'd love to have you back on. Love to have you back on the coast one day yeah. um for the comp. Hey, it'd be, it'd no, that'd be sick. It'd be sick if he could come over with his his partner and his kids and, and get a little bit of Aotearoa. Get a bit can of... I can you give him a haka when he comes to the black town? Just a solo I'm just picturing a solo <laughs> hojo top off haka <laughs> as he's driving up the black town break wall. And you're really getting into it too. Like you got scratch marks on your tits, big poo cunners. Big, just like guns. big, big red thighs with the slaps, you know, like big just, white thighs. I can come up behind you, well, to the left, just step what back. Me? No, 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 just to the left and behind is like a, is a lower grade matua, like a. What's a lower grade matua? I don't know, just a dirty old tane. What is it? You know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No. There's me and big rubes. Oh yeah, get big rubes up there. Yeah, me and big rubes, you know. Shout out, Rubes. Shout out, Rubes. Yeah. Shout out, Rubes. Um, we, um, we're jamming tomorrow night, me and Rubes and Gordy and, and Jen. We're playing out at Barrytown Hall. We're actually supporting a Christchurch band called the Wendy's. Do you view to them? Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, I don't keep like, up in Kiwi music local, much. I only read this. Local to... scenes. Troy Kingy. You should go out to Buddy Littleton, man, to the Wonder Bar and go check <sighs> out some fucking sick tunes, bro. Um, shout out to Frank Robinson's uh <laughs> asshole, his hot doctor. Oh no. Um and and tum and in his words, happy Tamariki. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know if he's taking the piss. I almost think that Frank fucks up a few words and he probably actually thinks it's Tamariki instead of Matariki. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you never if you know. Wanna, if you want to hear that that particular, if you want to hear episode one, Frank Robinson voicemails, sign up to Patreon. <laughs> uh when are we going to put that up? Because that has to go on Patreon. That was fucking it's on. hilarious. Oh, I've already put it up. I put it on last night. Oh, what? Always I didn't love even it. See it. Always oh, love it. Oh, so good. <laughs> Fuck, that was funny. Sorry, everyone who's on the on the freebies. Um, yeah, Frankie left us a, a crazy funny um, voice memo. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the other thing I want to do for Patreon. We've talked about it before. I've got so many good voicemails on this phone. I just got to figure out the best way to record them and transfer them through. Yeah, because I don't think this I don't think this microphone's very good at picking up uh. extra audio, whereas your one probably is. How did you do it? Did you just chuck it straight in or? Did you save the file and like upload it to Patreon? How did you do it? Uh, I actually figured out a little hack where I could oh. download audio uh, messages off Facebook Messenger. Oh, yeah. Download Sweet. it to your computer. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And so, bro, we've got six DMs about your Venetian blinds on Instagram <laughs> while we've been talking. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's good. One Live from feedback. One from Ooh. Dylan. One from yeah. Dill Russ. That's so cobbed in. Love heart <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Isaac Walker just just pissing himself laughing. Yeah. Uh, John and Tim pissing themselves laughing. Tim yeah. Cal Bromley pissing himself <laughs> laughing. Yeah. Uh, Leah Leah uh, Nielsen looks oh. like you've been doing a bit of peeping outside those <laughs> blinds. Oh, it actually, does look like I just been fucking. Having a full peep up, off. eh? Oh, stop it. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, update there on those the, There should be a Patreon like banner. Just your blinds. That's probably a good call. 
A, co- a cover photo, yeah. Don't even have a wave. Just have the Venetians. <laughs> just so everyone's it's aware. Um, so just so everyone's aware, I have bought new Venetians. Uh, they were supposed to arrive last week, but they apparently they're still delayed. Everyone's probably thinking, whatever, you're talking shit. But uh, <laughs> I can't wait to show you my new blinds. The only thing I'm really worried about now, and everyone will be thinking, you're a fucking retard is that I just really hope that I didn't measure them wrong. You know, because cause that'd be my luck, wouldn't it? They'll come <laughs> up, they'll come up, I'll, they'll arrive, and I'll go to set them up, and they'll either be too big or too small or something. <laughs> eh? I can imagine it. Uh, All right, so well, good. should we? We've had enough dillies and dallies. Should we? Um, oh, we've we got to do the old. We've got to do our every time. We've got to do this. All right. How's your penis? How's your balls? How's your oh. mental? How's your physical health? Oh, uh, balls good, pino good. Um, do we do we need to do pino ball check anymore? Because my pino ball check, my pino ball, you know, issues are over. Yeah, no, nah, I, I think it's probably don't need to, but it's always good to check him with the old fella downstairs, isn't it? Oh so yeah, yeah the old pino was. You <laughs> check on pino wa. Uh, I think people, especially Ruben, Big Rubes just loves that that question. How's your penis? How's your balls? <laughs> we should get Rubes on and just quiz him about his big Mary balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you, balls, Rubes. mate? Come on, Rubes. Look like? What do they look like, Big Rubes? balls. Big train driver balls. Yeah. No, well, let's just jump into your health, mate. Physical, mental. Uh, I don't know. Six or seven. For both? Yeah. Okay. I don't work out as much as I fucking like. Um, with I average during the work week, which for me is Monday to Thursday, hmm. I average about oh, six hours sleep. Uh, Jesus. Five, six hours sleep. Jesus. Um, so, you know, that's because of the chrono naps, right? Oh, yeah. So, so well, you're averaging more then, aren't you? Yeah, so but you know the science tells you that you need you need a eight to ten sleep. hours basically for real restful sleep, right? Yeah. So your chrono and naps not really helping. They help me get. They help me stop feeling like I'm gonna fucking literally have a heart attack yeah. um, when I have them. Yeah. Like when I get home from work, or I or I finish the end of the day at home, hmm. uh, I can't function. It's a different type of tiredness. Mm. I can't fucking function. Um, and I fall asleep like that. Wow. Crazy. Like, boom. Yeah. Shut my eyes, gone. And then it's like usually about an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I just don't, I don't work out as much as I like because uh, I, I usually want to try and get at least one workout in between Monday and Thursday. Mm-hmm. And some weeks, I I just can't. I, well, I can't. If, if, if I fucking hard up, I would. But I don't feel good even after I've worked out because I'm oh. so fucking deprived of energy. Yeah. And but then, so Friday's mandatory workout day. doesn't matter where I surf or not. I go cool. for a real good workout. Saturday, I usually go for a, like a little jog or a walk, big mm. walk, uh, or a surf. Mm. And then Sunday's another big workout day. So I'm just trying to work out. Well, I'm just working on getting more sleep so I can because I'm fucking loving working out. Really enjoy it. Awesome. Yeah. After all great. those years of not doing it, it feels great, eh? I love the feeling afterwards. It's a really I good love feeling. It. Love that. Fucking. I'm watching like uh, YouTubers like these Samoan uh, boys that are, you know, the Us Gang. <laughs> yeah. You know that guy? Yeah. Yeah. He's been doing like a weight loss challenge for like a hundred weeks on YouTube, and there's a couple of other <laughs> Polynesian boys that are way bigger than me. But it's just He's cool on... to watch what they're doing. Mm. Yeah, so I've been bit enjoying inspo. that. Bit of inspo. Mm. Cool. What about you, bro? How's your Pinot Noir? How's yeah. your How's your your Mento? Good, 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 good. Mento's um, pretty good. I'm on the health buzz always, but um, doing the dry July, um, doing the no vapes. Uh, so I've gone cold turkeys, my bro. Cold Turks. Wow. Um, 
And yeah, so already, um, oh, not that I drink during the week. Might have a drink on a Thursday sometimes, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. Got, and uh, it'll be good to go out tomorrow at this gig and everyone's going to be drinking and be a good little test of willpower for old Joel just to be mm-hmm. like, nah, not drinking tonight. But I will maybe partake in the devil's lettuce. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's lettuce is such a good old school way to call it, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, mental health's pretty good. Eh? I feel really energized, energized um, physically. Also, I'll give myself an eight. Physically, um, that's a natural flow on from that. Um, so I started running this week. <laughs> a little story about that. So I went for a little runza on uh, Tuesday. And I thought, I'll just do a little fucking, little wee circuit around Cobbies. Um, and that equated to about 15 minutes of running, which you might think is fuck all. But um, yeah, that was good. Good little sweat up. And then I went for a run today. So two days later, went for another run. I'll just push out a bit more. I'll do a couple of more blocks, a couple more streets. Um, it's coming back 100 meters from my house and strain my calf muscle. Yeah, that'll happen. You got to stretch. <clears throat> you got to stre- stretch, yeah. man. When you don't you run stretch. for years and us getting older, I learned that the fucking hard way last year. I was going for like weekly runs and my hip yeah. flex is fucked out. My calf muscles fucked out. I've got to stretch. I've You've got to stretch. stretch. Yeah. Bef- do you before and after or just after? Or the whole thing. Before, after. During. <laughs> yeah, during. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's um, running. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't rate running, eh? I never had, like, I just don't. Oh, no. It. It's terrible. I hate it. I hate it. But I, I also do love the feeling afterwards. You're all sweaty and you feel like you've actually achieved something. And it's so fun to like trying to turn off those negative thoughts. Like when you're when you're running, like you puss out, you'd be like, oh, that'll do. Or maybe <clears> just have a maybe just walk for a couple of blocks. You're a bit puffed. But then <laughs> you're just gonna like turn that brain around, like, shut up, pussy, just keep going. I do like keep that, going. but I prefer that. I've always preferred working out, eh? I just, yeah. especially that, that yeah, I love that soreness you get, but it's like such a good soreness with your mm. muscles. Love that. You know, that. you can feel them recovering. Love that. Um, hey, I'm just going to go and shut the lounge door because Tess has just come in. Um, okay. And I don't want to um, be super loud of Addison, so sorry. Pause for a second. Yep. Yeah. yeah, mate. So thanks for that. Feeling good. Um I'm really looking forward to not drinking alcohol for a month. And then uh, just, I just got into a real unhealthy habit of drinking beers by myself, watching footy. And I was just like, oh, what, what is this doing? This is stupid. Like, okay, I get a little buzz on and it feels nice, but like, it's just not healthy and it puts on, you put on weight. So I was just like, oh, yeah. what are you doing? You fucking drone. Stop fucking drinking by yourself like a fucking loser. Oh. Yeah. I've never enjoyed drinking by myself. Yeah. And see, you I really do. Don't. I, I, I enjoy it, but I, I also know it's just silly. Like, why? Mm. Yeah. Um, perfect segue with uh, running as well. Yeah. I'd like to give uh, Mr. Sam oh, Brooks yeah. and Ben McPake a shout out. Uh, the boys recent uh, last weekend uh, completed the Spencer Park Backyard Ultra which involves the boys running a 6.7 kilometer loop every hour until you can't, right? Mm, mm. So Brooksy completed 48 point, like uh, 48.7 kilometers. Um, and Peaky mm. completed 100 and I think it was 150. Let me just I think it was 140. That. I think it was 140. Was it? Yeah. Oh, when, wow. when he when he when he put that post up and I saw that number of one hundred and forty K, I just felt like wow, I am a I am a pussy of a human being because that is fuck that's crazy, eh? <laughs> that's some David Goggins shit, mate. Come on, mate. 
So, Peggy, it's on. called the Crazy Midwinter Backyard Ultra. He did 21 laps, 140.8 kilometers, mm. 21 laps. Yeah. He, he, so he ran all through Saturday mm. and kept running into Sunday overnight. I wonder who was the fucking top dog. Like, when do you stop? <laughs> That's a... I watched it. Brooksy sent me a documentary about a one they did in Australia, and they went yeah. for like four days or five days. Oh, my God. And yeah. they did 700 kilometers or something. And like, the guy got peak? fucking pneumonia and kept going. <laughs> you what now? That was a weird pronunciation. Say that again. How do you say it? <laughs> pneumonia. Pneumonia. That's it. You got it. <laughs> Newnomia. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, I don't that's know how to say it. And <laughs> and and shout out to Brooksy because if you want to talk about fat dad to fit dad, talk about Sam Brooks. Yeah, he's taken himself from uh, tip the scales at one thirty kilograms plus. The boys hovering around one hundred and ten kgs now. Wow, he's in the so Sumner Scone Club, uh, and. And he's um he's uh running fuck uh on average like you know a ten kilometer fifteen kilometer run every day. He's mm-hmm. done the coast to coast. Um, Jesus. he's really found his niche. That's cool. Hey, so Brooksy, give me some um give me some stretching tips, mate. How do I prevent these fucking little um sprains? Not sprains. Um, minor tears. What's the word? Strain, strain, Strains. fucking calf, man. It's he really um, hurt it. when he runs like he's he's works with nutritionists to work out how much sodium oh, he should have, Jesus. electrolytes, protein. Of he does. You know, like he goes hard, like right. pro, like sodium tablets, Magnesium, fucking you yeah. know, lollies. Like when we were in Rara a couple of years ago, he ran lollies. around the island. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, oh, lollies because no. yeah, yeah. heaps of sugar hit, sugar hit, and. When he was in Raro, he ran around the whole island one day, and I, it's like 40 Ks or fucking, I don't know. He ran it, and the night before, he scooted around the island and stashed water and lollies <laughs> all around the whole island. <laughs> That's so cute. On. And then, like, um, about two of the stashes got nicked by kids. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Imagine that'd be such a fun surprise. Imagine that kids just be like, what the hell? Three lollies, too, Mickey. Too Mickey. All right, um, so let's uh, let's get into some of the show notes, shall we? Yeah. I, what do you got there, Josh? Well, we need to talk about Shark Island Challenge. So, I would should we, should we kick off with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then that'll probably segue nicely into another challenge that's popping up. Yeah, keen mm-hmm. on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then um, we've got a couple of other things we can talk about. Um, so let's just roll from there, shall we? Yep. So, Shark Island Challenge 2024, the bodyboard king. <laughs> it was funny because on the um on the live broadcast, some of them were saying the bodyboard kingdom, supported by bodyboard kingdom, but it's that's not true. It's bodyboard king. I'm pretty sure there's no king, there's no kingdom, is there? There's no dom on the end. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of fuck ups. So, let's start off with a rating. We'll rate a few things, me and you, okay? Out of 10. Okay. Right. The surf. Go. Out of 10. 10 being good, 1 being shit. Conditions. Four. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Same. Four. Except four out of 10. Final. Yeah. Four out of 10. Uh, the broadcast as a whole, out of 10. The good, the bad, the ugly. What do you think? 10. 10. Okay. Man. These guys are volunteers. They they pulled off a live forecast with multiple angles, good commentary. It was in, you know, it was it was really like nice and clear HD. For me, you know, they're not the WSL. These boys pulled it together as it's fucking shits on any of your IBC fucking broadcasts or some cunt that's never spoken English in his life. <laughs> oh, fucking assholes. So uh, I can hear that... the money being laundered in the background of those live broadcasts, uh, Jolan. You can hear the and the I can paper. hear a young Chilean. I can hear a young Chilean being beaten at the same time. 
You can hear one of those machines that counts the money, like in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's not coming through. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to give it a six out of ten, oh. um, because I think the quality was 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 okay. A lot of a room for improvement. Um, it wasn't a volunteer um, broadcast company. They actually paid quite a bit of money. I think it was, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was about 10 grand, bro. They paid oh, yeah. a company to do it. So it wasn't That's exactly cheap. like, it wasn't just, oh, oh, mate, bring your camera over. And yeah, Johnny, you bring the fucking uh, the microphone. So there's actually a bit of money in, involved. But I don't think that the company that did the broadcast had done any surf comps before. So they were... I think the tightness and, and uh, of the shots was obviously an issue. Um, sometimes you'd watch a wave and the commentators would be commentating the wave and the video camera's like, fuck, it's somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Not even what, or like the guy will about to like pull into the barrel and then they'll cut to another camera and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I think it was, it was cool, but so much room for improvement. And I'm not trying to brag them, uh, drag them down, but yeah, I'll give them a six. So I just give them a ten for the effort. Yeah, yeah, cool. What about the actual commentary, the commentators? I love. It. I thought it was well. We didn't. Yeah. I didn't actually hear a lot because I was watching it with um, Brooksy and Barfoot. Oh, oh, true. And, yeah, and but we did hear bits and like the Louis Remington oh, um, thing was so fucking funny. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, out of ten, so you don't really can't really care. judge, can you? Just because of the Louis Remington thing, they got a ten. Mm. Yeah, that's what we need in bugging. That's what we need in bugging. Giles is some a bit fucking of character. I love yeah. it. I, I agree. Um, so my comments on that, I'll give them an eight. Um, I think the boys held it down really well. Um, it was a little bit um, white bread vanilla for most of it until pretty much when Whitey jumped on um, and Whitey gave it a bit of flavor. The whole Remington thing, it was just, it was good to actually. Ah, breathe a sigh of relief. Let's not make it so fucking uptight and, you know, sponsors, obligations, blah, blah, blah. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what else do we rate out of it? Should we just talk about the actual event itself? Um, wash throughs are plenty, shitty swell angle. They made the call to run it on a Sunday, probably to get more eyes on it with regards to people on the beach. Hearing a bit of feedback from um, people in the know, it sounds like they could have ran it earlier where it was a surf was better, as in like a few days before and after a few days before. Apparently the surf was good both sides of that Sunday, but they did choose for a Sunday. So, um, yeah, a bit of a shame, but, yeah, um, what a shame. Yeah, big shame, actually. The surf was pretty trash. A few nuggets, though. Yeah, and the the final was cool, eh? The the the, the surf really cleaned up for the final. Did it? I heard that um, Benny Sawyer, the eventual winner, um, heard an interview today, and he was saying that right at the start of the final, he copped a wash through on the head, and then he got swept all the way in without even catching a wave in the <laughs> final. <laughs> yeah, but the barrels they got in the final were the best of the day by far. Yeah, yeah they were. You know, did right. And then right. Jared Houston's ear forward. Was yeah. fucking sick. What a shame he didn't land it, eh? Oh man, that was a ten. That was a ten if he landed it. Close to it for sure. Um, I'm sure. I reckon that was a ten, bro. If he landed that. Hmm. And I'm what's happening with your um, IBC? Well, my my IBC. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen much. When's the next comp? I heard rumors that maybe they've scratched one or they don't know what's happening next or not enough cash to be laundered. Yeah. Maybe they've run out of cash to launder. I'm not sure. I haven't seen many updates. So I'm a bit out of the loop, my friend. I mean, if you, I mean, you mean Charles, hmm. I mean, the only way they make money is by having people come and then not paying them. <laughs> well, I think that's all been tidied up, hasn't it? Fuck that! I I give it I give it two to three more years before it fin- before it goes under. Yeah, fair enough. It's yeah. probably be, it's probably been generous too. Um, I thought it was pretty lame how PLC right 
mm. got an invite to the island comp, but chose it to Quachiara instead. What happened to Tanner McDaniel? Apparently he had a, a small window in Australia mm. and he didn't have any leeway. He needed to go to, he had other plans. So he needed the comp to run within the first, I think, two or three weeks of the window. That's what I heard. Right. Yeah. And what happened to Noah Dean? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I say I feel like I'm I'm right and you were really wrong? About what? About his reach. Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think you were wrong. I think I was pretty much on the money, eh? I, 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 think, I think he's probably... Just the, sh- the little shakiness in your voice just then... <laughs> <laughs> alludes to the fact that a bit of you doubt. were, a yeah, bit the of doubt. doubt. Yeah, I think you were dead wrong. I'm stubborn, eh? I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give think, up. I think you're wrong. I think he's huge, mate. I don't even think you really know much about <laughs> pro surfing, eh? <laughs> no cunt knows who he is. <laughs> oh, my God. If you ask any proper surfer, like, we almost need to ring up Jai right there and say, Jai's up. Can you settle all this argument? Everybody, okay, everybody who serves, like, is yeah. is a bit of a core lord, knows who Noah Dean is, right? Yes, correct. So you got to be a bit of a core lord, though. But he's, well, you saying nah, that he's in the top five, nah. you saying he's in the fucking top five is one of the dumbest fucking oh. things I've ever heard. Oh, my God. Like, <sighs> Ross McBride dumb or dumber than Ross McBride? It was McBride? dumber than Mo- Ross McBride. Oh, Ross McBride's got oh, more impact know. on surfing culture than fucking Noah Dean. Oh, I wish you knew about pro surfing, but that's okay. Okay, who's Fair top enough. five? Okay, just quickly. Oh, we're talking about five? the island cop, man. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm taking a tangent. Well, there's nothing else to talk about. It was awesome. Yes, just there fucking, is. It was... There's plenty of stuff to talk about. Well, can, you want to can... do a top five of pro surfing? Yeah, top five in terms of reach. Pro surfing. Go. Nathan Florence. Okay. You do your top five. <laughs> <clears throat> you're, you're all smug, aren't you? You're all smug. You're a little shoulder, a little smuggy, smuggy shoulders. Here he is. A little smugger. A little smugger. Okay. John Florence. Yeah. Yep. So the two Florence brothers at the top. Mm-hmm. Um. Then I'm going to go with Mason Ho. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then I'm gonna go <laughs> with. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say Gabriel Medina, but uh, I'm not because I don't like him. Um, I'm gonna go Luke Cederman. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go Mason Ho, and then Noah Dean. <laughs> Such a fucking push. <laughs> <laughs> all those names, right? All those names. <laughs> oh, mate. See, you don't understand. Everyone knows Noah, mate. He's huge. He does the best ears in the game. Okay. Re- top five reach surfers. You missed, the, you missed number one, Gally oh. Slater. Oh, yeah, true. No, well, Nathan dead, Florence. Nathan Florence. John Florence. Gabe Medina. Philippe Toledo, and probably if you want to, if you want an honourable mention, Steph Gilmore, done. Oh, or McFanny. No, oh, that's very cool. Very cool. Who's your Noah Dean? He's there, mate. He's in the five. <laughs> I'm too stubborn, mate. You, you can't win. <laughs> you can't win. Okay, back to Island Cop. Okay. Bit of controversy over who actually won. Benny Sawyer did Ooh. win. But there's a lot of, uh, yeah, differing opinions with Andy Lester. Ooh. And a lot of people were saying that, well, he actually had the better waves. And um, so, yeah, a little bit of controversy. I haven't rewatched it. Have you rewatched the final? No. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, congrats to Benny Sawyer, though. That's so sick. So I listened to an interview of the eventual winner uh, today, and yeah, he was saying that 
he went over to the boat after the after the final siren sounded, and yeah, a few of the boys on the boat were like, "Yeah, mate, you've got it, you've got it." And so that's why he did that celebratory backflip off the boat, which was quite mm. gnarly. Um, but he was saying that he only saw one of Lester's waves. Um, so he was really confident. Uh, but apparently the judging, it was, uh, yeah, it's 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5 in it. Shit. So between him and Lester, but shout out to Lester because he had a f- fractured uh, shoulder. Mm. Yeah. Like his uh, part of his collarbone had broken or something. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. <sighs> Amazing. And apparently he did that in the semi final and then pushed through and almost, oh, I was rooting for him. As you know, my pick was pretty on the money. Yeah, it was. Um, mm. And I was just rooting for him. Like, come on. Especially when you hurt his shoulder. I was like, oh, this is going to be the best fucking story ever. He's going to fucking break his shoulder and win the comp. And yeah, Benny Sawyer got him. I, I, Benny... I just love that for booking. Joel's mm. just a week, like an event, man, like mm. an actual event. People, you know, got together, had beers, yeah. you know, uh, w- you know, I got on the beers with Brooksy and Parf. It, it was just so cool. really cool. You know, I just hope that they just keep it going now. Uh, I think they've got the bones and, and, the, and a good little infrastructure um, set up. So yeah, let's just keep it rolling, boys. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, boys. Good for bugging, man. It was cool, eh? Hmm. Um, it was, it was cool, eh? It was, it was, <laughs> it, was, it, was oh. it was pretty cool, eh? It was cool, eh? <laughs> I, um, I really enjoyed Frankie's voicemail. Just like he, he went from having a go at you, right? Mm. And mm. then calling you a racist and, that, mm. and him being a bit racist. I enjoyed that as well. Mm. Um, to then just sort of taking a tangent where he's attracted to his male doctor. You know? <laughs> so funny because he's like, and I would take him out for a beer. I would. He's, and he's a he's good hot. cunt. He's a good cunt. He's hot and he's young. And I had to get up on all fours and show him my anus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, um, poor old Frankie, eh? Poor old Frankie's just ongoing uh, anus problems, eh? He's going <laughs> to hate hearing this. <laughs> we love you, Frankie. But uh, yeah, he left, me a, he left me a voicemail, which was very similar to the one he left on the chat. It was so funny, bro. I'm going to probably put that on as well. But yeah, it was basically, we can't. I don't give a fuck about your Tamariki. You got two strikes, okay? If you don't answer the next time, you're fucking dead, cunt. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, we uh, just it just took me back down to forty five percent just then. Oh, ghost of the machine, bro. It's oh. Government, they don't want us to talk about stuff. Uh, government, eh? Um, and that just leads us into there's been a a development in the New Zealand boogie boarding. Um, Scene, do you want to recently? pop up a little, a little share, share up the old? Um, yeah, do you want to pull that up, Jamie? Yeah, but what is it, Mr. Hodgson? What is it? Well, you tell me, you while you, well, while you do that, while, while I do this, why don't you introduce it to our crew, definitely, to our listeners, well, John so Kilkelly? It's a very exciting, um, new bug competition slash challenge, and it's called the Breaker Bay Challenge, I believe. Um, and Hojo's just about to bring it up. Sorry, break a bug challenge. My bad. It was break a um, bummer bug. Yeah, and look at that poster. It's fucking cool, man. Really cool artwork. Mm. And I wanted to talk to you about the wave as well. It's it's so cool. So basically, they're going to do a very similar setup to the Shark Island challenge. So they're going to have basically a, a, a month long waiting period. And it's going to be 12 locals, 12 invites. Um, I don't, hopefully the, Noah Dean's not coming, but uh, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it sounds so fucking rad. And I'm right behind it. Eh? I just hope they, they, I've even offered to um, maybe try and get them some sponsorship um, with my liquor company up in Wellington. So I might be able to get them a few slabs of beers or whatever. Um so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm so excited for it, bro. This is one of the coolest things. 
to happen in New Zealand bug and for uh, for a wee bit, eh? What are your thoughts? Yeah. And Bragger Bay is a uh, a famous little slab in Wellington. Yeah. You surfed you know? it? Nah, never surfed it. Have you ever seen it live? No. Nah. Yeah. But um, uh, uh, plenty of people I know have. Do you know that the guy that you're talking to right now has? Uh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, you didn't know Tell that. me. You didn't know that. Oh, have I not told you the story? No. Oh, I might have on this podcast, I'm sure. But anyway, I'll rehash it because it's 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 the topic we're talking about. So I was living in Wellington for about uh, four or five months. And I was a bit depressed because surf was, I just didn't know where all the good surf was. And I didn't have any good bug friends around at the time. Um, didn't really know anyone. And I was just driving around all those little bays. There's, have you ever done that drive before where it's like, you come in from town and then it's just all the bays, Breaker Bay, Titahi Bay, all the little bays. Have you ever done that little drive? I, oh, I barely spend any time in Wellington. Ah, eh? okay. It's it's a really cool drive, especially on a nice sunny day. It's just cool little inlets and bays. Um, and I remember driving around one day and I was just like, doo, 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 doo. And I was like, what the fuck? And I just saw Breaker Bay and I was pulled over and I was like, oh my God, there's actually a fucking legit wave and then it just it pretty much saved my soul i was like oh yes <laughs> i found a fucking wave stoked um the best i've ever surfed it was probably about three feet and yeah when it's on it's fucking fun bro like it's pretty sketchy though there's some rocks in there that stick out and um it's a nice barrel um and then it sort of it, it, it runs in and it and the barrel just gets smaller and smaller, and it's a pretty technical, tricky exit. Um, yeah, it'll be one of those ways where the locals will, will do really well. That the pick blowins, or blowins might struggle, but uh, yeah, it's a cool spot. I've got the inside word on one of the invitees. I wonder if I should oh, let that out. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Don't. Don't mention anything. They need to let them announce. Let them, let them announce. announce? The, yeah. All right. Don't say anything. Don't even hint anything. All right. I'm not going to hint. What about, can we speculate on who the invitees might be? Oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe we come up with our own little list. You already know one, so don't. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do you ever check? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> you okay. ever check our fucking swoo account, like our DMs? No. Bugger all, actually. I think you've just basically because like what happens is you check it before I even get a chance to see the notification. So then it's like I don't get many notifications. If you know what I mean, uh -huh. like I don't get the little red thing that pops up because you've already checked it. Oh, uh -huh. you're mate, you're just a bit onto it, mate. Just a bit onto it. Is there some stuff I need to go in there and check out? No, nah, not really. <laughs> okay. Do everyone from Steve Fortune? That was interesting. Oh, okay, mm. cool. Mm. I'll check that out. I'll check that out. All right, Giles, who who's going to be who's going to be your uh, who's speculative invitees? Yeah, what's we'll tw it's, it's twenty four, isn't it? Yeah, no, but do we even worry about no, it? Nah, twenty four. Wellington. Yeah. yeah. Should we just do as many of the? Because we know that most of the locals will be, you know. Duncan Smith and yeah. maybe if any of the War Brothers are around these days, like yeah. Danny War, get Sammy mm. Peters back, mate. Get Sammy yes, Peters back in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Richie McKenna. Imagine if he yeah. came back to New Zealand for it. Oh, that'd be sick. Um, what about Dowman? Blair Dowman. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, isn't B Diddy from Brendan? Isn't B Diddy from um, Wellies? I don't know. Is he? Yeah, no, I think he is. Yeah. Okay. B Diddy, he he should he should get an invite. Um. All right. So let's go from the um the twelve. So yeah, I'll, I'll choose Blair Dowman. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want? Should we just go one for one? Yeah. Well, what this about Wellsy? Like twelve. This is like the twelve apostles all over again. Uh, what about uh, Wellsy? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I agree. Um, I would say 
Adam McLean because he's the current um, Blacktown champion. I think we, because, you know, Adam flies under the radar so hard now these days and surfs like once every five years. Yeah. Um, should we, maybe you and I should advocate for the current Blacktown, uh, the Blacktown Challenge champion to be yep. to be in there. Yeah. What I do you agree. think? All right. So, yeah, we'll get in touch and hear who's up. <laughs> yeah. And I'll contact Adam and say, hey, bro, I'm going to, me and Hodger are going to put your name forward for this comp. Would you be keen to do a strike mission up to Wellington? We'll come with you. Um, you just need to fucking book some flexi flights, basically, from Christchurch to Wellington. Return, eh? Yeah, should we? Uh, I would like to go. would love to go. We could do like a a weekend, make a weekend of it and do like fucking episodes and stuff, eh? Dude, I'm going. I'm going. With or without you. I'm going. Okay, we'll, look at, we'll actually look at tickets together after this, eh? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. It's okay. So, um, Ed McLean, um, you next. Um, there's so many to choose from. Fuck. So many to choose. Oh, oh Pikey, Pikey. Well, if we're gonna go, if we're gonna stay in the Blacktown thing, I was Pikey was gonna be my second choice. Yeah, because he's last year's champ. Mm -hmm. And sorry, my ego is going to have to say this. Me, I'm going to put my hand up as third choice from Black Tap. Okay, just but saying, I'm... it's me. <laughs> it's me. It's fucking me. Fucking me. Yeah. Um, okay. You're like a Arrogant. Anyway. Arrogant. <laughs> yeah. Arrogant. Oh, um, just putting myself out there. Just putting myself <laughs> out there. Um, <laughs> what about? Yeah, yeah, Steve Fortune. You mentioned his name before. I would, mm -hmm. um, I would put his name down. You, you, your or next choice, Laurent, that uh, that Canary Island guy. Yeah, Fortuna's mate. He's True. New Zealand based. Yeah, yeah, but he's not from here, is he? Hey, it doesn't matter. Fuck, if you're part of this, yeah. that is racist. Yeah, Again, actually. your Cobden racism <laughs> just comes through. You can't help it, can you? You, you know, the environment makes the person. Doesn't it? <laughs> hey? Not being racist. You went mate. to a jog. You went for a jog down to the local fucking pad, didn't you? <laughs> hey, the white white power. You know, white power skinheads. It's good head, it's good head. No, I just thought there'd be so many other um, New Zealand bugs that would be keen. Um, yeah. What about someone from Gizzy, my bro? I'm just thinking regionally. Um got a I'm oh. definitely gonna say um Oh, oh I've got a name. Ahi. Okay, go. Ahi. Yeah, definitely. Definitely he, Ahi. And he yeah, he lives in Gizzy at the moment, so Yeah. Yeah, he's my uh, not because he lives in Mahia, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. I think he works at well no, I don't think he actually lives in Mahia. I think he lives in Gizzy, and then he just goes back to the family batch oh, okay. out here, you know? Yeah. That's probably, I think it's more than a batch. It's a fucking full-on house. Fucking, yeah, like that epic point, eh? Hey? Oh, it's right on the spit, bro. It's the sickest bad. Um, um, let's think of the Dunedin region. Any of the old boys? Does anybody fucking surf down there anymore? Yeah, there's heaps of um, crew down there, but is there any of the old golden age, you know, like your, your Mitch Frews and your, and your Parsons and your, you know, and your... Casey Keynes and all the all the lads, the old school lads, they probably don't book much anymore, eh? They all sit, they all sit stand up surf now. Yeah, yeah. So, but what about the next gen of Dunno's borders? Who's out there? Is there Who's a next gen of Dunno's borders? I even I wouldn't oh, know. I'm not sure that they've gone quiet, haven't they? They've gone quiet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose like the Blackman brothers and and um, yeah, Tim. Yeah, you know they they're out chasing slabs and towing and yeah, of course hard. those boys are yeah, yeah, boys. yeah. Um, what about around the Auckland region? Who we, I've already talked about for Chuona. What about someone like oh god? Just trying to think of one of the old Boyd school... Smith. Oh yeah, exactly. Mm. He's he's helping organize it, right? Yeah, this uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's probably got a. I wonder if he's going to give himself a ticket. I've got a golden ticket. Uh, 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 Do you reckon old Boogie Jesus will get a will get an invite? I think so. 
he's probably the most committed bug in New Zealand, eh? Mm-hmm. He's yeah. not from here now, is he? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's weird. Just made a turkey, <laughs> sucky baba. Uh, if Nate Smith was in New Zealand, probably. Definitely. Yeah, but definitely. he he'll be in, he'll be an Indo. I'm pretty sure when that's running. Yeah, he's gone Indo now. Him and Uncle Tears are in transit now. I think. Yeah, yeah, I must be. He must have already been there. Yeah. Um, I'm sick of some of the old school bugs like come out of retirement, like John Diamond. Do you know what? Do you know what I'd love though? Like, cause fuck, it'd be so cool to see new blood that kind of some cunny that we'd never heard of. You know, yeah, young cool. guy that raps. That'd be cool, yeah. man. That'd be cool. Huh. Just someone Something like fucking, fresh. What about William Nepia Murray? Get him back on it. Does he bug anymore? Oh, who knows? I'd say it wouldn't take him much to get back into the groove. He'd be in his 30s now, Josh. He will be. Yeah, I'd say so. He'd be getting, yeah, late 20s, early 30s. Um, Joel Dixon? <laughs> Joel Dixon. What about Jeff King? Yeah. Oh, JK Jeff King. In there. I've never met Jeff. Tube Thief. Yeah, never met him. Shout out, bro. Um, yeah. What about anyone from the Tazanax? Tazanax. Oh, the um, bro. Uh, what's his name? Who, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. But um, what about um, someone like Simon Sagrove, old Saggy, and that, that old crew too? I'm just trying to think because yeah, there's like the new generation. It's it's hard to it's hard to find them, eh? Fucking no one around. Yeah, but anyway, a... um, I think it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, I want to help them out if I can somehow wrangle a fucking spot in the comp. Old Joe will be keen to get his pig in the trough, but um, I'm definitely keen to help them out. Even if they need a judge, I'd be keen to judge. Um, just help out on the day. Hopefully, Kevin, big old K Mac, return of the Mac. There it is. Hopefully, he comes comes down and throws his head and weight around. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some um old school locals from Welly kicking around in it too. Eh? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. That'd be a good weekend. Looking forward to it. So, what's yeah. the window? Is it um August through to September? It is it's the 24th of August to 29th of September. Wow, imagine if they got a fucking live stream or something on the go. That'd be cool, eh? You'd really only need one camera because it's that wave, bro, is literally like 40 meters from the car park. It's that fucking <laughs> um, intimate. And it's not a left-hander. It's a right-hander. You'd really only just have to have one camera with a live stream Boom. Um, they're looking for sponsors. Should we should we sponsor them? The Food Man Swoosh podcast. Should we sponsor them? <laughs> what with our fucking whopping their, Patreon money? Yeah, with our Patreon money. We don't have fucking money. <laughs> yeah, but we're like fucking whatever we can give, we'll give. And they don't have to come out of our own pockets. No, we we'll just we we'll just give them some Patreon money. We've already got like hundred bucks. Twenty dollars. We've already got about a hundred bucks in there. What? Have we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's supposed to pay for my fucking subscriptions, my Zoom subscriptions, my, and my Adobe and subscriptions, and my fucking subscriptions. <laughs> my subscriptions. <laughs> my subscriptions. Oh, I think that's cool. Let's do it. Why don't we sponsor them? I'd actually just get the money out of my own pocket, even if it was a couple of hundred bucks. I'd love to fucking do that. I want to find out who fucking made that poster because I want to get one for, made for the Blake Town Challenge. That's a really That's cool idea. so fucking sick. Yeah, it is sick, okay. Love it. Um, I, honestly, I want to get that frame to put it on my wall in my office. It's, yeah. like, any, like, stuff like that. Imagine if the isolated got stuff like that made back in the day. Yeah. That's pretty wicked. Um, So, yeah, if you haven't heard about this comp, um, peoples, get into it. Even if you don't like bodyboarding, um, jump on Instagram and, and give them a like, give them a follow. It'll just create a bit of hype. The more people get behind it, um, you know, it'll, it'll happen again. Hopefully this will be another Shark Island Challenge kind of vibe where it'll just sort of breathe a bit of extra much-needed life into the 
sport of Bergen and hopefully it just rolls on through. Who do you think, if it was pumping Breaker Bay, right, mm-hmm. who do you think would win? Dunk. Yeah. Yeah. Duncan. Duncan. Dunk, Dunk's like probably the Andrew Lester of that wave, I'd imagine. <laughs> Duncan, like, he was in Raro with us a couple of years ago. Like, yeah. just rocked up at the same time. Still fucking raps. Oh, mate, he's a freak. He's so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, so a betting man would put um, him on the top spot. But, yeah, I'm oh. just really excited um, to see them release all the names, you know? It'd be fucking cool. Be fucking cool. Jason Spence hey, been not get Jason Spence been not getting invite over me. Tell you. <laughs> oh, uh, do you know who'd be? We should get old fucking. Um, oh no, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Jeremy Bennett six seven six five five is the guy that did the artwork. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to that fella. I just started following him on uh, our Fu Manswu. I oh, think sweet. we need a commission for him for our poster for the next Blacktown Challenge. Why not? Give yeah. us some money um, yep. to do it, even if it was like 100 bucks or something, you know, it'd be worth it, eh? Oh, yeah. I think he'd probably charge a bit more than that, but and like he's, probably, he's got a. Probably, I'm just looking at his artwork now, bro. It's pretty fucking cool. Cool. It's probably a bit, of, a bit out of our budget. Oh, that reminds me too. We've we got some money in the account. Nah, it's always pretty skint. I, How um, much money I, we got in the account at the moment? I, I siphon off a bit every year. Um, <laughs> what we need to do is I'm useless at this, but every year I ask for like registration fees. Need to do that again for this year. Off That's the weird. club, yeah. Just yeah, but just we've actually got thirty to... bucks and you know keep the keep the keep it afloat. Yeah, but we've actually got to do something as a club if we're going to do that. What do you mean? Well, we don't do anything as a club anymore. We don't have club comps or anything anymore. No, we have the one big comp. Yeah. One comp to rule them all. I miss our club comps. They were so fun. Yeah. Club comps are just cool because it was just for us, you know, locals. Yeah. Me, local. You know, me, <laughs> the local. Me. Oh, mate, if you were living here, I'm sure you'd you'd organise it. I would. Um, if I was, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about next year as well. Uh, yeah. We're... we're um, That'd be the nineteenth year of the Blake Town Challenge. Yeah, we're going to have so a we, big, big yeah. one on the twentieth. Eh? We're going to have to go fucking hard for the twentieth. We're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. I think we. I want to lean into helping you organise a bit more next year. Maybe yeah, go fifty cool. fifty. Um, uh-huh. I'd be keen to you. Are oh, you just coming through a little faintly there too? Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Maybe just pump it up just a little bit. Oh, what? At this late in the piece? Fuck. I think it's like faded a little bit or something. Oh, right. what about now? I just bumped it up a smidgen. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what do you, because what, what I was keen to do next year is a bit, mm-hmm. I think I really want us to uh, pre organize access to that council car park up above the, the, the beach. Um, where the you know the gators next to the suck hut, yeah, yeah, you get that opened. Um, it's already open, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know how they randomly lock it sometimes. Well, we we've actually there's a permanent spot now to drive through. So, oh, the, ga- the gate's closed, and we just I think it was Mikey in summertime. He just moved the rock out of the way, so now anyone can drive up there. Oh, good <laughs> so, shit. So it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but yeah, good shout out. Yeah, um, and I'm just keen to, I think I'd be real keen if we can try and pull off, especially if it's pumping, probably only if it's pumping, try, try and pull off a simple live webcast. Why not at we, least tr- try it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then oh, the other thing I'd like to try and do is maybe have some dedicated judges, mm. you know, just and we'll pay them. Pay them for the weekend. Yeah, you know, see if we can get K Mac down. Pay him. Um, yeah. He won't have to do any organising. All had K Mac would do is just have to come down. We'll pay him for the like pay pay for like his flights. Um, put him up in a commo Jesus. somewhere. And I was actually keen 
try and get us some cheap deals for everybody at the top 10. So I was going to go to the top 10, talk to them, be like, can we just like book out like three units and get like a half rate or something? There's like Spono. Mm. Yeah. So I was going to ask them. Um, and then just a couple of dedicated judges. So they could just come down. They don't need to do any organizing. They just come down and they're fucking like, um, they could just do the judging. Mm. You know what I mean? I love it. It's been talked about for many, many years. These these things you're talking about, it's just it's it's quite hard to. Well, organize. it's just you've been organising so, them, really. Yeah, but also uh, it's <clears throat> it's tricky to find judges who want to come down here, and then also the funding of flights and accommodation. That's where does that money come from? You know, that means that means asking for more sponsorship. It's it's all doable, my friend, but it's all time. A lot yeah, of time I know. Involved. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And the other one is like definitely because get someone permanent social updates. Actually, Joel offered to do that, and Joel's fucking yeah. good at uh, socials. I think, I think he said he's going to be free next year. Yeah, yeah. I think well, listening to one of his podcasts, I thought he was saying that he's yeah. I think he's done with the Wanaka over war, war birds over Wanaka for a, for a little <laughs> bit. So he's gonna. I think he's gonna come over hopefully. Um. I think out of all of those things you mentioned, the live feed would be something I really want to uh, research and investigate, i.e. what type of camera do you need um, and then what type of program do you need to run it through? I'm sure mm. it would just be some random free software that you can fucking download or whatever or pirate and it'll just be a matter of plugging in the, the camera into the laptop, having a really strong um, signal uh, and then... Yeah. It can't be that hard. Hey. No. No. Um because we can just do the absolute basic. Get the zoom right and just fucking yep. press record and go. Yeah. You know? And we you can just, come in for fucking cameo little, you know, commentator bits. Just have like, you know, a good camera that somehow looked up to a live feed just to like the fucking Blaketown Facebook page, right? It's just so we've just got a good camera linked up, so it's just a direct feed from the Lake Town uh, Club Facebook page, yeah. Which has got you know like seven hundred followers or something, so by far the easiest for people to access, yeah. And we just live stream it on Facebook, like the semi-finals and finals or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll look into it. You know, I'm good with this tiki shit, so I'll look into it. Good on you, yeah. mate. That's great. Um. All right, bro. Well, uh, well let's wrap it up, shall we? Yeah, I, 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 we're going to wrap up this here because I've got a question to ask you, but that's going to be a oh, Patreon you? clip. Ah, Patreon. Yeah. What about got a any question bread, for you? Cool. Any bread and circuses? Uh, any UFC? Any rugby league? Any uh, oh. chats? I just got to say, league is just fucking rocket ship in terms of popularity, not just the WAS, but they're hurling rugby in Australia as well. Um, yeah, yeah. And rugby I, in Australia is dead. The whole media world around rugby uh, league, sorry, is just fucking phenomenal. The shows, the the shit talking, fucking media people, <laughs> the 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 personalities. Did you see Brandon Brandon Smith the other day? He was just like, um, I love him. He's so he funny. was being po- he was interviewed after the, the game, yeah. right, and one of the boys in the studio, like the media guys is like, Brandon, you're going to go around to coach Robinson's house and have some red wines. And, you know, he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I'll probably hit out Yeah, red wine, maybe, you know, nice meal, maybe a couple of brown paper bags. <laughs> <laughs> like yes. You know what I mean? He's talking about getting a bag, <laughs> like after a league, you know, like they, they let them have their personalities. Yeah. That's great. If a fucking rugby player did that, they'd probably be sacked. Oh yeah, it'd be all over the news, and yeah. and they've killed. And we've talked about it before. They've killed rugby because rugby's turned into a fucking forensic analysis of every single time they <laughs> like even move. Oh, like, that's such a good idea. I'm just like imagining fucking CSI like lab coats and people are walking around. <laughs> it's like that, eh? <laughs> it's like <laughs> after the twenty nine. Uh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> Last year's World Cup. Watching yep. rugby because that was the first time I watched rugby since 2019. I watched World mm. Cups. I mm. couldn't handle it. I was like, "This is fuck." These cunts are going back 20 plays. 
Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's terrible. I watched two tests last year, and um, they were we lost both of them against Ireland, and it was it was so boring, bro. Like the amount of, the amount of stoppages, I was yeah. just like stopping again. And everyone's just fucking walking around and the refs fucking do 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 and then like be two minutes of play and then the whistle blows and another three minute rest. And I'm just like, oh, there's no flow. There's no flow. It's it's cooked, bro. They've ruined rugby. <laughs> and if they don't and if they don't wake up to themselves, that that they'll it'll continue dying. They yeah. and like league in, in Australia and New Zealand, the club rugby, the club league numbers have exploded mm. because everybody's mm. like, this game's so much more entertaining, faster, you know. The other game, in fact, I hope uh, for me, I hope, I hope league takes over rugby. That's what I actually hope. I always Same. thought it was a superior game. Do you yeah. know what the other big sport is in New Zealand at the moment? It's basketball, eh? It's massive in New Zealand, bro. Oh God, here we go. He's going to question me over this. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I'm just I'm I don't have to agree with you. No, but speak speak your mind. Well, I just I don't see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, I just mean on the on the uh, actual participant stage, like people getting into the sport. Yeah, I've heard it's like. If not the most popular sport in New Zealand, it's in the top three. Is that because you and Joel Dixon play social basketball? <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> maybe we can fact check that and I'll bring, maybe I can come back with a, a one against you next pod, okay? I'll do some research because you've disagreed with me. No, we'll leave it at that and um, I'll come back at the next podcast with some facts, okay? Well, Dolan. Mate. Yes. You don't have a good record against me. Uh, well, let's hope I can get one back on you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you lost twenty dollars? You probably owe me like at least a hundred bucks. You I'm probably giving you that's there's no debts hanging over my head. Uh you have lost at least three bets of twenty dollars because yes. you have been wrong. You're such an embellisher. I think there's been one. But no. anyway. I need to keep a record. I'm going to start keeping a record <laughs> yeah, of the twenty dollars sure. bits you've lost because you've lost multiple. I don't know about you've that. been so you've been so <laughs> like like fucking arrogant, <laughs> and you're like, "Yep, I'm right." And then it's just a simple Google search will prove that <laughs> I am correct. I am the native. I am a superior. Uh, you go jump in your spa pool. You fucking entitled. Muppet tomorrow on Friday, when everyone else is working. <laughs> yeah, we're all working. I had a nice spa. Having to having to work out and then having a spa. I had a nice. Uh, I had a nice spa. Oh, aren't you um, lucky? Just before our, po- our podcast. Aren't you lucky? Well, not really. It cost me a fucking arm and a leg. What is the power bill at your house a month? Uh, this month it's three hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, that's fuck all. Is it? Well, I thought that if you have a spa, it usually cranks up to like the fours and the fucking fives. We we run the heat pump pretty much twenty four seven. We charge the electric car, and I've got yeah. the spa pool on. Well, that's pretty. I think that's pretty good, bro. Is it? I think so. Fuck. When I flatted with NATO, remember that yeah. house I flatted with NATO in on Coach mm. Street? Mm. We got a seven hundred dollar power bill. Oh, back then even. Back Jesus. then, because we had this kooky fucking panel radiator heater. Oh, we didn't know how to run it properly. Oh, no. And we were so fucking cold <laughs> in the winter. And we yeah. ran it, and, and we just got um uh, with a fucking <laughs> massive power bill. Yeah. Oh, it's Never the forget that. I nearly cried. I nearly yeah. cried when I got that today. Uh, before we go, quite excited about the UFC 303 with Izzy and Drikas. 305. Um, Oh, sorry, three or five. My bad. Um, and yeah, I'm already starting to see little face offs and a little bit of heat. It's quite yeah, fun. It's good, I'm getting eh? excited. Getting excited, bro. Is he? Is he has lost so much popularity. Like everybody oh, yeah. hates him, man. Ah, oh, not everybody, but yeah, he's definitely dropped back in the in the rating polls. Well, eh? he's, he's put his fucking mouth, his foot in his mouth, so many times over the years, and everybody's oh, just yeah. like, fuck. Ah. And he, he would have regretted a few things he said, definitely. 
Well, and like the latest one, you know how he wound up Alex Pereira saying like, you're going to be the bloke in the bar. Yeah, you're going to be the bloke in the bar yeah. in 20 years time. So I yeah. knocked out Izzy once, right? It's literally turned around. To the, yeah. So every time Alex fights, Izzy posts that yeah. one knockout he's got over him. It's like, I no, know. you're the bloke in the bar, bro. Just yeah. move on. It is. It fully is, eh? Oh, it's a funny old game. But yeah, Warriors. F- Warriors had a great win last week um, against a, uh, an understrength Brisbane Broncos team. Mm. Uh, it was nice to have a comeback after the the satanic loss uh, the week before against the Titans. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think they might be cooked, bro, for the season. Oh, uh, no, I'm still hanging in, mate. I'm still hanging in, my friend. I just don't there, get mate. wound up like I used to. Up the wires. Up the bloody wires. Up the wires. Now hang in there. I'm like Joel A. As long as there's a mathematical chance, I am with I am with these guys until the bitter end. You're with child. <laughs> I am with child. <laughs> um, all right. Ooh. Let's say good let's say goodnight, eh? Nice cheap tickets to Wellington. Cool. At the moment. Next pay month, I'm gonna fucking get on that and um, book some flexies. I'll do it with you. Okay, I actually get paid on the fifteenth, so I have extra cash. I got savings, but I don't know if I really want to jump into them. Got some other bills coming up. Oh fuck! I need to buy. I need to buy some new snowboard gear for my daughter because she's Adults. she's bigger. She's bigger. My daughter. Oh, it's been fun taking her driving, bro. Oh, it's so classy. <laughs> so weird sitting in the passenger seat watching your daughter drive your car. It's fucking <laughs> odd. It's so cool though. Oh, that's good, bro. That'll be you one day, about ten years. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got another one on the way. Oh, you gonna drop that announcement? Does any yeah. everyone know? Yeah, crew. We've got another one on the way. Hey, congratulations. That'll, do. That'll fucking do it. Jesus. Hopefully a little tarn, eh? Um, I'm, I'm hoping for a girl. Oh, wow. Do you know why? It's because, you know, like kids, no matter what they are, boy or girl, they're close when they're, you know, kids, right? Mm. But then when they become adults, you know, they you know, me and my sister were really close when we were kids and now she's a, you know, fully grown woman and we're just not as close as we were because I just mm. think. You know, it's sort of like apples and oranges a little bit with you okay. know. And I hang out with my sister, but just not not as close as when I was a kid. Hmm. My, you know, Sophie is super close with her sister, uh, right? Yeah. Like so, so. like they got five year gap as well. They're insanely oh. close. Oh, okay. And so I'd really like that for Tui is to have a sister because they'll just always be close. Yeah. Because they've got a lot more in common, right? You just as hmm. you become adults you just have less in common especially if you're a, you're, a woman, you're a boy and a girl yeah um and i'm pretty sure it's a girl anyway sophie's fucking getting smashed with nausea and uh, oh, okay. uh morning sickness and all like it? she she did she looked into like the chinese birth calendar thing that she mm. did it when she was pregnant with two and it, they worked out it was a girl same with this one ah uh, interesting mm. but you're gonna you're not gonna you're just gonna surprise it yeah, you know, on the nah. birthday, we'll find okay. out. Oh, you're gonna find out. Okay, we always find out. Yeah, okay. It's because we, it's because for me, the child is already part of our family and um has a name already. And cool. if it, anything ever happened, that child's always still going to be part of our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Mm. Yeah. So for me, I I want to know as much information as possible because oh, fair like, enough. Like I saw like a scan of the baby and it's so well formed already. It's crazy how yeah. clear things are now with the scans. Yeah. And I found myself get a little emotional when I saw the scan because I was like, holy oh, shit, that's like another kid. Yeah. And I sort of like bonded a little bit. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What just out of curiosity, what blood type are you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> I have no idea. It's funny because a lot of a lot of people actually don't know, eh? They just never really re- remembered or retained or yeah. 
it's hilarious. All right, mate. Let's um. Let's right, wrap this the, up. I've got a the, Patreon question to ask you. Gonna we'll end the free show. Thanks everyone for listening and watching. Um, but we love you lots, and um, now we're gonna do, record some um, content for Patreon. See you later. Love you guys. Bye. Kakite. Kakite. Kakiteano.